So, it's been way too long since I did any sort of video. Um, probably since like the first race at Bayford back in March. Shortly after that, we did a back-to-back -back test between the Comp Car and a 2020 Tony Car. Um, you know, doing a bit of drive coaching with John and the team. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Is that an Same, same part of the track. Both. Everything like that. Same thing like that. No headless chicken mode. So a new personal best by Miles, which was a 46.3. Um, so we beat our previous one by about two tenths. Um, and it was also an opportunity to try a different car. And oddly enough, I actually went quicker on the comp car. Moving forward, we are going to be on the team's own GMS chassis. Big thanks to the team for making it possible. Got some really good equipment now, 
In all fairness, the comp car is actually a good car, right? But it's probably very difficult to get in the window, especially when you're not in a team that you know, everyone else is running different equipment. Uh, it's just so much testing to get to the same point, which isn't really worth it. So guys, <laughs> eight o'clock. Come, will the new car circuit? Session number three done, and we are currently only about four tenths off, ish. Yeah, but that's well, without the lead. <laughs> edit that out. Pretty happy with the start. He's got we've had three, not three more to go, I mean. Yeah. And they're 20 minute sessions, so I'm gonna be hacking by the end of the day. But no. All the alcohol. Oh yeah, we've got that to look forward to tonight and Saturday. Uh, but yeah, positive start. The main man. How many fridges have you got in your hotel room? Not enough. None. So why the heck are we getting... Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Is that an M? Uh, yeah. Day done. Absolutely mega track. Time to start with, but pretty much dry running throughout the day. S30, pretty solid chassis. Yes, really. Um, really good to grip to the brakes. Phenomenal. So, uh, yeah, that's looking to build on it. Part, Probably my favourite part. Literally, it's like on or off. Favourite part is when you fight to slow down. Yeah, but it means you can do massive sense. Massive send. That's all that matters. So yeah, looking to build on it on a bit of shit tires, but as the weekend goes on, got some quick people to follow, some data to go through, and um, more importantly, some beers to be consumed. Catch you in the morning if I'm not hanging or throwing up. Or... Good morning, boys. Oi. Repping. Repping. Nice tits. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer fix anything. Right, slight problem. Uh, trainer is locked. Uh, some bell end. Forgot the lock, said lock. Mm, slight problem. How are you going to lock it tonight? Is you going to leave it unlocked? No, yeah, I walled it. Pff, doesn't really matter. There's nothing valuable in it. But all the all the good stuff is either locked in there or the awning. Yeah. I'll take it the floor, mate. I'll fuck it. Ah. You fucking bastard, yeah. You, you're a fucking bastard, mate. A little wannabe bastard gangster.
shit. Watch this. No hands. Ooh. It's not going to work, is it? Oh. I know. Look, reverse sailing brake manual. Look, look in the mirror for me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're good, good, we're good. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Look, look. over the line, but yeah, we're good. Oh, it says, oh, cancelled. What's that? Core. Cool. That fuse is going to be mine. No, it's not, is it? Oh, it is. Okay. I part next to it. You're right, an angle. That car's there, right? It's probably going to go forward into that blank space now. <laughs> it looks so much easier. Yeah, but it's just for the views, isn't it? Yeah, but you fucked it already yeah, because it's like, oh, it's a work. Do it again somewhere else. It's just just fuck it. Let's just fucking fuck it. <laughs> this feature works really well. Just wanted to let you guys know. It works better parallel, in all honesty. I love how the stop start does that without warning. I was going to say, I thought I'd do stall automatic. To drive, sort of badly, that, that didn't work. We'll end up in a different bloody space. Oh well, Luke. Su summarize, summarize the day for the boys and girls. Uh, it's all right, I guess. It should have been a bit better. Um, lacking a bit of pace, we kept it on the pace, but we didn't gain any more pace. So we're lapping about mid to low 45. Let's say mid 45 is average, yeah. Average, yeah. yeah. The best we can which, do is 45. Which, well, the best for this 45.1, but that was a bit shit. Couldn't just do that like, the most of the new tyres. Well, I really well. wanted to make it to 44, so. Same. So, a little disappointed with that, but from what I was talking to, when I was talking to people before, they're saying that, like, looking at previous results, mid 45s is thereabouts in race pace. So, Hopefully we can mix up. We've got three random heats, three random grids, so we have a front, middle and back as opposed to qualifying. So the first race we're starting 24th, which is fine by me, get ease into it. Second heat we are starting 8th, which is our front, even though it's not really front, but I mean, to be fair, I'm, I'm glad I'm not on pole, to be honest, so I'll take it with this weekend. And then last but not least, we're starting 16th, so not the best and, but to be honest, in a weekend where we're learning the track, I'm not too worried about that. And um, I think that motorcycle agrees. Bam! Get that on a pass or CBT. Oh, do I, do I go two wheels? Do I go two wheels? Do I, do I swap Beamer Life for two wheels? Swap. We're knowing weekend my life. incredible balance, exceptional balance. I, 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 I've been proud. Lovely early morning. First race is alright. Second race was shocking. Goes Barnes recovering back to pit lane. I think the exhaust is loose on that cart as well. She means he's been mounted. Let's have a look at a replay of what happened there going into the boot. So is this going to be Ellis into the back of Barnes? Is that what we're thinking here? Well, think no, Barnes starts to spin. Uh, gets a bit of ah, that's where the damage to Will Barnes came from. It was contact with the <laughs> What did we do, Luke? What did I do? What did you do? Sort of run out of road, is what I did. <laughs> As for today, uh, three lap practice was on old tyres and unlike most venues we go to, uh, we didn't have qualifying, we had old school front, middle and back uh, grids for our heats. So we've got three heats. So the first heat was our back. Oh, my back! So we started 24th, uh, about 30 or so. Um, yeah, we actually made up some ground with that. We ended up 21st in the end. Good little scrap, was able to follow the train, fairly positive. Good session on the data afterwards with Sammy and had a look at my teammate Jaden, who was 
the few races it went on, it's pretty quick. Better in the braking zones, I was coming off much quicker. Braking, I actually braked slightly later on my best lap than him and came off within a similar period of time, so that was really good. Uh, improvements made, but um, yeah, lacking a little bit in the slower parts of the track and you know, blipping the throttle and just tidying up basically. Uh, second race, our front race, so we started up at ninth, which isn't quite the front, but it was our highest starting position. Uh, we're probably off a train of people for ages, apparently, so uh, it's a bit of a bad day. Had about two people spin attempting to pass me, so that, that's always great. And then um, reunited with Catherine, um, ended up facing the wrong way when she went for a move, and we ended up getting called to the steward's office. No further action, racing incident really. My first trip to the stewards, which was great. We were joking as a team that I'm literally the only driver who hasn't been to the stewards at some point. And um, yeah, finally made it happen. So that, that's another another achievement ticked off. We got fired off. So we did actually manage to recover a few places after that, which is good. I made a few cheeky turns, so that was nice. Then the dreaded third heat. Well, to be honest, we made up a couple, we had a good start actually, we had a first spot into turn one, a bit sketchy. Um, and we're running ninth, having started 11th, so that was decent. There was a big squabble going up ahead, so I'm sort of sitting back and watching, making sure I kept my lines covered for people behind, because obviously we're a bit slow in the in the pack. As you saw, a couple of people, a couple of people came together. Um, and uh, didn't really leave us with much place to go. I think two of them tangled, and I'd managed to tuck in underneath and get past. And the car rolled in front of us, rolled into the path of us, I should say. And uh, yeah, that was uh, that. As that. for the final, we, we really struggled, to be honest. To be honest, most of the day I felt like I could go forward. I was able to race, so I didn't feel, you know, I mean, obviously I was a bit off the pace being my first weekend here, but. I felt I could go forward. Never really materialised, really struggled. Overall, the results weren't quite there, but to be honest, it was more of a chance for me to evaluate the chassis, try a track I always wanted to race at. And you know what? It was a bit of an experience, it was a bit of a fun trip. I really enjoyed it. Good company. Um, fun racing, a few beverages. Um, yeah, what more can you ask for, really? Um, and, a, and a new car to play with. Incredibly grateful to everyone at GMS for the opportunity to race on that car. Um, thank you to course Miles, Louis and Dave who prepared it for me. Also thank you to John, Luke and Sammy for their assistance this weekend. And all the coaching and the data. Teamwork guys, love it. But yeah. So until next time, 